What's up, y'all? What's going on, YouTube? We back for another video, man. And I am not in my truck today. They got me in a spare truck. Ugh. So I'm about to get started on my second load. I got my first load up with this truck already. Um, so they did a PM on my truck. For those of you who don't know what that means, a PM stands for preventative maintenance, uh, where they pull it in the shop, grease it, grease the uh, arms, forks, check everything out. And they found a broke spring on my truck. So they down my truck for the rest of this week until they can get that fixed. So I'll probably be in this truck um hopefully i'll stay in the same truck it's not a guarantee but i'll probably be in this truck for the rest of the week so this is uh kind of similar to my truck it's still a mac mcnillius um what's different is the control panel is different this truck is older than my truck my original truck is a 2014 this one is a 2010 so it's a little older so the controls is a little different. Uh, same concept though, the activate switch because it's McNeilius. You gotta hit activate to open the top door, activate the pop the tailgate, lower the tailgate, all that stuff. Um, the auto pack doesn't work on this truck, so I gotta manually hold this button to run the blade back, which sucks. It kind of jams your fingers up all day, but. It's okay, you can get over it. Um, this is supposed to have the same T pattern as my truck, but as you can see, it does not. So, well, actually, they it's supposed to, but they changed it. So, this has the X pattern now. So, you lean it over, left. And sort of like the left top corner is down with the forks and then the uh, to the right bottom corner is up with the forks left bottom corner is up with the arms and right top corner is down with the arms uh, so that's how we work this truck here and I told you guys in my very first video I'll put that link in the description um all how all these were different they were all different but the same concept so, so let's get ready to start this second load get some action there with this spare truck man it's not all bad some some things on this truck is better than my truck like the turning radius this truck turns right better than mine. I can make a sharp right turn with this truck, which I can't make in my own truck. Um, one of the cons is that gotta clean that off there. Gotta jump a little bit because I'm short, yeah. <laughs> oh, there we go. So we can see how that rear view camera. One of the cons about this truck leaking water. Got a hole in the body somewhere. But the cons about this truck is uh, one of them, the clutch fan is so loud. So when that thing cuts on, I might not be able to get a lot of recording there. But it sounds like a jet engine taking off. It's just loud and obnoxious. So far, I've been having a good day with this thing, so let's just continue that. And the pump on, the pump button is there. Yep. Yeah. 
Another thing that's different about this truck is the monitor. monitor is up top I have my truck this is supposed to have three cameras that would be the straight back camera that's my right side over there that's supposed to be my left side but uh, that camera's out for whatever reason but the left side is not a necessity it don't require us to have that but uh, they like for us to have the right side which is our blind side and our straight back so uh, they probably not looking forward to fixing it <laughs> They got a light switch hanging out over there. Uh, wires everywhere. This is a spare truck for you guys. But the monitor's up high, so when I'm backing, I'm so used to just scanning my mirror, camera, mirror, mirror, camera, mirror while I'm backing. But now I have to go mirror up to here, camera, mirror. So it's it throws me off just a little bit, but uh, not not too much big of a deal. Just a little getting used to. So like my first couple of stops during the day, I had to get used to it, but we've been rolling pretty good so far, so. At least this truck has a nice quiet backup alarm, how my truck has. I hate that loud, obnoxious beep, beep. Man, you trying to creep through the neighborhoods in the middle of the night with that loud beep, beep, beep. That's just uh, so annoying. This is not a bad truck. When I came in and they said my uh, truck was down, you automatically get <laughs> you get down in your spirits, man, because you're so used to uh, working with your truck. That's like your baby. You know, even if some guys that uh, drive a piece of junk, like if this was, I'm not saying that this is a piece of junk, but if this was my designated route truck and I was in it all the time, it, this would be my baby, you know, I wouldn't, wouldn't have to get used to it but since I'm not in this truck all the time it takes some getting used to but it haven't been all that bad at all not bad at all really my biggest thing is just looking up at that camera I hate that but all our newer trucks that they're getting in they, they haven't even these McNeilius bodies it's only like three of these front loaders in the yard they got a lot more McNeilius rear loaders than they do front load it's only like three of these and this is one I have one and this is, and there's another one 1249 which was on a cardboard route but yeah, I think yeah, it's only three. We, I call them the bubble backs because they got the big bubble shape in the back and the hill bodies is kind of just square. Yeah, we only got three of these, man. So I, at least I was lucky enough to get in a truck that was similar to mine. And so far, no mechanical issues. Cause I'm telling you, with these spare trucks, man, it's like 50-50. Uh, sometimes you get into the truck and it has no write-ups on there. But you get in there and it's like everything wrong with it. And you're just wondering like, why the heck didn't the last driver write it up? Or did it just all go wrong in the morning that I got it? <laughs>
God. God usually comes down and wave at me. I guess he's busy right now. Like this turn right here, I could never make this with my truck. Never. I had to turn it back up and go again. So I like that. I can get used to that. <laughs> Maybe save me like 20, 30 seconds on each tight right turn. I can get used to that. <laughs> Let me pack this thing back, man. Can't forget it doesn't have auto pack on there, so. Well, the auto pack doesn't work. And that's not usually something they worry about fixing. It's more of a luxury than a necessity. So I gotta hold this extend button to pack it back and then hold the retract button. Otherwise, we got a nice day today. It's supposed to get like 48, 49 degrees. Um, tomorrow is going to be uh, like 55. That's a nice break from all the uh, freezing snowy days we've been getting. We're not supposed to get any uh, bad weather until Saturday, which is falls on my Saturday to work. Just my luck. Uh, yeah, Saturday we're supposed to get rain, so I'll be out here in the rain. Hey man, he's uh, I, I'm a fan of McNeilius. I am the hit the hill. I hope I'm saying that right. Hill, uh, they are they're all right. Um, they all right. I can't I don't have nothing bad to say about either one of them. I'm just more, uh, I'm more in a McNeilius. I got more drive time in McNeilius. So when I was on rear load, I had a McNeilius. Front end, my truck was a McNeilius. Uh, only time I drive the hill bodies is when I'm in a spare truck. So. So these are all right to me, but you got some drivers in the yard who don't even like to take my truck out. Like if I'm off work and they got to run my route, some of them won't even touch my truck because they don't like it. But <laughs> that's my baby though. And you guys see me use that truck all the time. So you, what do you guys think about it? Uh, my other drivers out there, whether front end or rear load, what do you guys think about it? Hill and McNeilius. I've never driven an uh, auto car. Or, I've never even driven a Peterbilt now that I come to think about it. I've never driven a Peterbilt, never driven an auto car. I'm pretty sure there's a bunch of other different brands out there. I'm, only thing I've ever driven was a Mack. Um, and then when I was working at my old company, Ecology, they had internationals. And I think we may have one international here. It's our bulk truck. It's an old bulk truck. But yeah, they had uh, internationals and Max at my old company, Ecology. So I drove international over there. It was pretty nice. Another thing is different. This step is higher than mine for some reason. I gotta 
Ooh, I like really raised my knee all the way up in the air to get in this truck. so short my arms are all short so I gotta like reach all the way over there this control panel is a little further away also and this uh 2010 model as opposed to my 2014 model Apartments. Oh. This is another turn that I gotta kind of finagle my way through. Let's see if I can hit it with this truck. Get right into the can. Yup. <laughs> I can get used to that right there. But I still wouldn't choose this truck over my baby though. Nah. My baby is just a lot smoother than this. A lot quieter inside the cab. Um, when I hit the highway, it's a lot quieter. Uh, my blade is faster. Uh, my auto pack works. I can bang the cans with my truck. I can't really bang the cans with this one. Like if I got something jammed in there, I can't bang it too good. Like when I said, every truck is different. That's true. Cause even though both of the both of these trucks, mine and the other one are both uh, Mac Vanillius, they still are different in many ways. I can't really bang this. So it won't. It won't bang. <laughs> That's like some prevention they probably put on there. Cause they don't. They don't want. Oh, it got that bag to come off though. But they don't want us to really bang this truck. They say it beats up the arms and the arm cylinders, but it's a truck, man. These trucks are like some of the most toughest trucks you'll find. They were, they were built to take a beating. That's why a lot of drivers don't like the new trucks because they're just too soft. But you can't uh, pack on the go. Which is, uh, if those of you who don't know, packing on the go is doing this. Like how I'm packing the blade back while I'm driving. They say the newer trucks won't allow you to pack on the go. At a, uh, well, at least not at like a 
higher rate of speed. They say it's fast if you just sit still and run the blade real quick. Which sucks as a garbage man. Kinda wanna keep rolling, stay in motion. apartments over here we lost that to waste management that was my bread and butter right there man um they got 22 cans in there four yards and two yarders on wheels the maintenance guys would come and drag them out for me and i dump them and they slide them back in lost that because the, the maintenance guys they love me over there man every time i ride past and i see the waste management truck in there i still honk the horn and, and the guys will wave at me they love me over there i used to take care of them man but uh i think that was due to like a sales thing they probably got outbidded by waste management so i lost that on my route and that was like a big chunk of my route because i was uh servicing that Monday, Wednesday, Friday. 22 cans. Well, that was a big chunk out of my route. But I ended up gaining some stops too because usually how these major companies do it, they, uh, they underbid each other. So like, they saving money in one spot, they spending more in the other, so. We end up gaining like uh, the state account, which originally wasn't waste management, and they took a lot of stuff from us. So they just go back and forth. I'm sure I'm pretty sure in a couple years it'll get tossed up again when it's time to rebid for the contracts. That's just how the, uh, the business goes. That's just how it goes. You win some and you lose some, but keep on trucking. Keep on trucking.
have one more can in these apartments. And then my next can, I actually, I left my route keys. Each route has a set of keys that uh, the driver has. And it got like keys to the special places that lock their cans up. I left my route keys inside of my, uh, my route truck. So, um, I might have to go in and knock on the doors to see if they can unlock the can for me. But sometimes they leave it unlocked on trash day. So hopefully they decided to do that. And I don't gotta go knock on the door. Sometimes they do and sometimes they don't. Hopefully it's unlocked. the X pattern and the T pattern. There's not much of a difference. After you dump like maybe your first five cans, you get used to the different motion. It's really not much of a huge difference. It's just like a slight turn to the left. Um, maybe one day I'll get a dual stick. I can show you guys how to work the dual sticks or some people call them rabbit ears, bunny ears, whatever you want to call it. Whatever you want to call it. That's it for those apartments there. And this next stop is a pest control. They keep that can locked up and I don't have the key. I even keep a spare key on my personal keys, but um, all right, I'll be right back. I'm running inside here. All right, guys, I'm back. Had to go around the front of this building here and knock on the door and uh, go inside the office and see if they can come unlock this can for me because I don't have my keys so. The guy came and uh, unlocked it for me. He was kind of a douche though. Like, oh, you don't got your keys? Where's the keys? I had to tell him, like, dude, uh, I left him in this other truck. This is a spare truck. 
Then I ran inside uh, Wawa right here and got something to snack on. For when I take my lunch break.